Welcome to the uproarious world of Sledgehammer, a classic TV series that left an indelible mark on the landscape of comedic cop shows. Amidst the relentless chaos and deadpan humor, one may wonder, is there a specific scene or moment that resonated with you, lingering in your memory long after the credits rolled? Delve into the zany universe of Sledgehammer, where over-the-top characters and absurd scenarios converge to deliver laughs aplenty. Each role brings its own flavor to the table, but do you have a personal favorite that stands out among the rest? But let's rewind and set the stage with some intriguing tidbits about the show. Did you know that the iconic gun-wielding detective Sledgehammer was not initially intended to be the lead character's name? The pilot episode was shot with a different moniker, only to be changed later for a more impactful punch. Now, as we traverse through the quirkiness of this cult favorite series, we invite you to share your cherished memories or personal experiences. What's your standout moment from Sledgehammer that etched itself into your TV-loving heart? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. From uproarious anecdotes to reflections on your favorite characters, let the nostalgia flow. So, which moment or character from Sledgehammer made an enduring impression on you? Share away. Crafted for your entertainment and curiosity, this brief journey into the world of Sledgehammer was... In the 1986 TV series Sledgehammer, an interesting anecdote surrounds the original opening credit sequence. The initial plan featured Sledgehammer firing his gun directly at the camera, shattering it. However, ABEX Standards and Practices Department, concerned about potential viewer distress and legal liabilities, insisted on a modification. A compromise was reached Hammer would shoot slightly to the left of the camera, still shattering the screen. On the night of the series' debut, an unexpected incident occurred at a Midwest ABC affiliate. A staff member, startled by the altered opening sequence, panicked and hastily threw on the station logo, mistakenly thinking something had gone wrong with their tape machine. Apart from this behind-the-scenes tidbit, during breaks in filming, David Rash, who portrayed Sledgehammer, would stay in character by engaging with a 44 Magnum prop, maintaining the essence of his role even when the cameras weren't rolling. These unique aspects provide a glimpse into the quirky and unconventional nature of Sledgehammer, a series that didn't just push the boundaries on screen, but also had its own share of offbeat moments during production. David Rash, who portrayed the iconic character Sledgehammer, shared an interesting revelation on the DVD release of the show. Despite the on-screen tension between Hammer and Captain Trunk, Rash and Harrison Page, who played Captain Trunk, developed a genuine friendship offset. Rash, known for his well-adjusted personality, mentioned in the DVD commentary that they remained good friends, maintaining contact to this day. This camaraderie behind the scenes contrast with the initial reception of the pilot episode. When first tested with an audience, it received poor ratings. In a somewhat controversial move, ABC decided to add a laugh track and rescreen the pilot. Surprisingly, the second screening yielded higher ratings. Although creator Alan Spencer opposed the laugh track, ABC insisted on its inclusion for the initial episodes. However, perhaps a testament to the show's unique humor, the laugh track was eventually removed midway through the first season. The impact of Sledgehammer extended beyond its original airings. The DVD release of the series proved to be a global success, earning Renew with critical acclaim. Journalists noted the show's influence, attributing career uptics to both star David Rash and creator Alan Spencer. The home video release brought a fresh wave of appreciation for the unconventional and boundary-pushing nature of the series. In the end, Sledgehammer not only pushed boundaries on screen, but also left a lasting legacy off-screen, creating unexpected friendships and enjoying a second life through home entertainment. In crafting the iconic character of Sledgehammer, creator Alan Spencer envisioned actor David Rash in the lead role, relying solely on Rash's image and reviews of his stage performances. This unconventional casting decision proved to be a stroke of genius, as Rash's portrayal of the tough-as-nails detective became synonymous with the show's offbeat humor. One distinctive aspect of Sledgehammer's early episodes was the inclusion of canned laughter in the audio tracks. Despite creator Alan Spencer's aversion to laugh tracks, ABC insisted on their presence. However, after the initial 13 episodes, Spencer successfully convinced the network to omit the canned laughter from the series. 
This change, starting with episode 14 titled State of Sledge, aligned with Spencer's strong disapproval of such artificial audio enhancements. As a result, the DVD release of the series reflects Spencer's artistic preferences, with all canned laughter deleted from the first 13 episodes. Interestingly, the character Sledgehammer only fires his gun at a person once in the entire series, and it happens off-camera. In most instances, when Hammer brandishes his 44 Magnum, it's either aimed at inanimate objects or used skillfully to disarm villains by shooting their guns out of their hands. This unique approach to gunplay adds a layer of comedic absurdity to the series, distinguishing it from conventional crime dramas. In retrospect, Sledgehammer not only challenged the norms of television with its innovative casting and unorthodox use of laughter, but also left a lasting impact on the portrayal of firearms in the crime genre. Alan Spencer's insistence on creative control reflected in the removal of the laugh track further solidified the series' reputation as a cult classic. The DVD release, free from canned laughter, stands as a testament to Spencer's commitment to his artistic vision. This behind-the-scenes exploration showcases the unconventional choices that define the legacy of Sledgehammer, a series that, despite its initial testing challenges and network compromises, managed to carve out a distinctive place in the realm of television. In 1976, Alan Spencer penned a pilot script as a parody of Dirty Harry and its sequels. However, it faced rejection across networks, with some questioning Spencer's mental health due to its exaggerated violence. It wasn't until the success of Sudden Impact that network show would interest. The resulting 1986 TV series, known for its offbeat humor and unconventional choices, had deeper ties to the classic spy series Get Smart. In Under the Gun, a motel raid scene cleverly references Don Adams and Barbara Feldon's agent numbers from Get Smart, with executive producer Leonard Stern consulting on Sledgehammer. As Captain Trunk, Harrison Page's unique audition approach, playing a constantly exasperated character, not only landed him the role, but also added a distinctive dynamic to the series. These intriguing behind-the-scenes details shed light on the genesis and quirky elements that define the legacy of this cult classic. As we bid farewell to the iconic series that left an indelible mark on the annals of television history, it's time to delve into the abyss of nostalgia and let the memories of Sledgehammer reverberate in the corridors of our minds. Let the echoes of the wacky exploits, the over-the-top heroics, and the irreverent humor linger, sparking the embers of laughter and camaraderie. Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. What moments from Sledgehammer reside in the treasure trove of your recollections? Was it the audacious stunts, the clever satire, or perhaps the deadpan charm that etched itself onto your consciousness? Share your personal odyssey with Sledgehammer, a show that transcends the mere confines of entertainment and becomes a tapestry woven with threads of shared experiences. Let the comments section below be your canvas, where your anecdotes and reflections paint a vivid picture of the impact Sledgehammer had on your TV journey. Whether you discovered it in the heyday of its broadcast or stumbled upon it in the vast landscape of streaming options, your connection is a testament to the timeless allure of this remarkable series. As the curtains draw on this discourse, I extend my heartfelt gratitude for allowing the sledgehammer narrative to dance across the stage of your memories. Your engagement and shared stories amplify the resonance of this cultural gem, ensuring its legacy persists in the collective consciousness. Thank you for your time, your musings, and your shared laughter. Here's to the indomitable spirit of Sledgehammer and the vibrant community that continues to celebrate its unique charm. Until our narratives converge again, keep the memories alive and revel in the timeless joy that only Sledgehammer can deliver.